art, I have a question for you guys. Which printer are you using right now, and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Epson EcoTank ET7750. Best for large photos. Epson's ET7750 won't phone home, it doesn't have fax capabilities for a start, but it's one of the more economic options out there for printing A3. While the printer itself isn't cheap, its ink bottles are affordable and last for a long time, enough for 3,400 photos, which reduces operating costs over time. The ET7750 is Epson's top-of-the-range multi-format printer. Being 3-in-1 means you can copy, scan and print, but not fax. The horror. It boasts cartridge-free printing, automatic duplex, A3 printing, a high-quality scanner and plenty more. Its main selling point has to be the ink bottles included. With modern printers, there is excellent accessibility, as well as a built-in SD card slot and USB input. You could also print via dedicated Wi-Fi apps like Epson Connect, Apple AirPrint and Google Cloud Print. In the box, you'll get two of each of the five color system inks. This includes your dye CMYK inks and a photo-specific pigment black for exceptional image depth. Photos look great thanks to its five-color refillable ink tank system, which offers a huge improvement in image quality versus its predecessor. Scan with a 1200x2400 DPI compact image sensor and print with a 5760x1440 DPI Epson Micro Piezo printhead. This printer doesn't sacrifice any quality. Number 4. HP Sprocket – Best Small Photo Printer the HP Sprocket balances portability and print quality with design simplicity, and it includes a few novel extras that set it apart. The previous Sprocket produced middling prints, but HP teamed up with Zinc, the manufacturer behind the Zero Ink paper format, to ensure the brightness and colour accuracy were better in the new printer than the original. Printing quality is the most important feature here, but design and portability are close seconds. The Sprocket's simple design includes convenient touches like an LED to show you the battery level, and you can recharge it with a micro USB cable. It also has a leather loop for attaching to keychains or lanyards, so you can carry it around with you easily. Something else I should mention is that you can download the free HP Sprocket app to access exclusive designer features for your pictures, customize your photos with doodles before printing, and unlock content in augmented reality. Then there's a handful of unique features that you won't find on any other mini printers, such as an AR-based sharing feature where you can print photos with codes embedded on them. You can produce glossy 2.3 by 3.4 inch sticky-based photos 30% larger than the original sprockets and transform them into curated memories. All in all, the HP Sprocket definitely is one of the best photo printers in the market. Number 3. Epson Expression Photo XP970 best mid-range option. Despite its sleek dimensions, this smooth 3-in-1 inkjet device is able to print on A3 size paper and uses not 4 but 6 inkjet cartridges to achieve superior colour accuracy. It means your ink costs are rather high, but it's worth it for the beautifully shaded results. The scanner is only A4 size, but it makes very high resolution scans and combined with a high print resolution, you can get near identical colour copies. There's no fax and print speeds are slow, but in all other respects, the Epson Expression Photo XP970 is hard to beat. The Epson Expression Photo XP970 is a large format printer capable of A3 prints on all types of paper and more. It's affordably priced, offers great quality photo prints, and is easy to use with wireless features. It could be a little faster, but at this size and price, it's difficult to complain. Photo print quality is virtually identical to that of the XP8600. The smoothness of graduations in blue skies and skin tones is excellent, colour accuracy is very good and there's impressive tonal range. Print times in standard and high quality modes for borderless photo prints worked out to 15 seconds and 58 seconds for 15 by 10 centimetres and either 1 minute 2 seconds or 2 minutes 40 seconds for A4. The XP970 is pretty speedy for full A3 photos taking 1 minute 55 seconds in standard quality mode and 4 minutes 35 seconds at its high quality setting. Number 2. Canon Image ProGraph Pro 1000 – Best Runner-Up If you're a professional photographer or an enthusiast that values high quality prints, you should check out the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 1000. This is one of the best photo printers for home users and for small studios that don't have a lot of demand. It's a pretty expensive printer that'll deliver quality above everything else. 
The Canon Image ProGraph Pro 1000 is a large printer measuring about 11.2 by 17 by 28.5 inches and it weighs a substantial 70.5 pounds in total, meaning you'll need a lot of space for it to operate properly. This printer utilizes 11 ink colors and the chroma optimizer is applied at the end to seal every detail and color flawlessly. The print resolution is up to 4800 by 2400 dpi and it does so thanks to the amazing fine technology that uses microscopic droplets in the print process. Print quality is marvelous for that reason but also you'll need to invest in proper paper to get the best out of it. The photo quality will play a large part too but don't neglect the paper. I should state it's pretty fast for the quality it produces and it delivers everything in a wide range of paper sizes and formats. Amazing quality in each one of them. But while I would like to see the NFC or a paper roll holder, it is still one of the most exceptional photo printers ever made. Number 1. Canon PIXMA PRO 200 – Best Overall The professional grade Canon PIXMA PRO 200 produces beautiful borderless photos and artwork on cut sheets up to 13 by 39 inches. Measuring 7.9 by 25.2 by 15 inches, with its trays closed and weighing 32 pounds, the Pro 200 is, according to Canon, 15% smaller than the preceding Pro 10 and Pro 100 models. The Pro 200 wins out for vivid colour with real pop and an ultra-smooth finish with no discernible bronzing whatsoever. It's not only a very clear winner out of the two, but also beats every other inkjet printer on the market. A key advantage of most dye-based printers over pigment-based models is that print speeds are quicker. It might not sound important if you're creating a prized print to last a lifetime, but if you need to create several or more prints in one session, it can make a real difference. The companion professional print and layout software makes it easy to create custom multi-image layouts on a single sheet of paper, as well as fine-tuning the output. With eight separate inks under the bonnet, the PIXMA PRO 200 picks up the baton from the preceding PRO 100S model, upping its game with a revamped ink formulation to enhance print quality more intuitive interface that adds a 3-inch colour screen and a higher precision paper transport system. For inkjet photo printing on glossy paper, it reigns supreme. Buy Guide Print Size Photography can be printed in different sizes and therefore you must consider before buying any printer to check its print size. This is a thing that you won't be able to change later. First off, think about the size that you'll mainly print and other formats that you may want to use and search for them in the same package. The 13-inch wide size is a pretty good start if you're a beginner, as this one can print even photos that can be hung up on walls. Then again, you can get a 17-inch wide one for your panorama prints, and I'd recommend this one for the majority. After that, you can find a 24-inch model, which is very big, and unless you're a professional, I wouldn't recommend it. Ink and Color Gamut there's a lot of terminology out there in terms of colour and inks, but the most important thing you should know is the ink set, which has two main types, dye and pigment inks. Know that dye inks are better suited for home and family prints, and pigment inks are more durable and will last a lifetime, albeit a bit more expensive. Check the colour options as well of the printer, which can consist of different variations. Price. With any photo printer, check the running cost and total cost of ownership if you can. Our reviews are generally helpful in this regard. Unfortunately, this may be impossible for near-dedicated photo printers, since there's currently no widely accepted standard for calculating cost per photo with devices like these. For snapshot-style printers, however, the cost per photo is typically easy to calculate, because most manufacturers sell print packs with enough ink and paper for a 